Hey guys, Rizlem here. I added a new feature to PAL. Well, not PAL itself, but the means of updating it. I have released a new launcher. So, in order to download this new version, let's go to... Well, let's. I'm gonna have a link in the description or, or you know, the usual links. But you go to my account and you go on to PUE add-on launcher. Click on releases and I always recommend you grab the topmost one. In this case it's version 2.0 which I just released. So you go in for the download, the usual stuff. I made a folder for this so it's nice and tidy. Actual preparation. And yeah, after you've downloaded it. Also just to make sure. I have done it in such a way that I've like... This uh, video will be from a, com from a perspective of you have never installed it before. So as you will see here folder does not exist which is good because that means it's a fresh installation and yeah let's double click it it should open up so if at any time it does not open up uh, you shift right click and you should get a little command here a little window here that says open command window here and if you ever need to troubleshoot it just type java jar and just type a p or PoE, and then use the tab to autocomplete, and then launch it in this way. And then we'll launch it as it would usually, or it will show you a bunch of errors, which it can then give to me, and I will go fix it. So anyhow, let's just close it and open it up again. Well, here we go. If you have a fresh installation, it will open on the settings page, and it will gray out these options, because you have not set anything. Note if you uh, already have settings, then it will open on this page right here and you can just click launch Paul or just check for updates and stuff like that. But yeah, if you have to change your directory for like file space reasons, I do not recommend it as it has been buggy in the past. But if you really want to not use your app data, you can install it elsewhere. Just, it's probably gonna break at some point. I also need to know where Pod of Excel is installed. So for this I created a new little feature called Automated Scan. Or you can just use this plus button to browse to the folder you want. But I'm going to showcase my new cool feature obviously. So It will usually scan for defaults, which is your program files and a folder called C Games. I thought that would be a default location. And yeah, you can add more locations. So I have Pod of Excel installed on my Y disk here. And I also have it installed on my G disk here under PC. So as you can see, I've added these two locations. And now when you click scan again, it will perform some magic. There you go. Just like that. And all you have to do is click save. And there you go. We can launch Pal. So we'll obviously click it. it tell you how many API tokens you have. Oh, I'm actually out of API tokens right now. Uh, that's... I, I know how to fix this. Second. Luckily I have backup for this. So as you can see, I created like... I backed up my folder. Basically I'm gonna fill in my API key. Which you guys obviously are not allowed to see. So let's just go over here. Note that you have this little page. Oh, it's actually a great moment to showcase this. But basically you have this uh, setting here called PAL Core Settings. You can basically fill it in. You can also fill in your API token and that way you will use your GitHub API token. Or you know, you will have to wait until 1 past 11, which is half an hour. I'm not gonna make the video last this long. So yeah, let me just go uh, fix this. Go, pasting it in. I'm gonna relaunch it now because I actually did like some file structure. Basically, I copied my old settings. Uh, let's see. And yeah, now it is, it, it is showing it, but I'm not gonna leak my API key, obviously. So I'm just gonna like put this on my clipboard. As you can see, it loaded all of my old settings, which is pretty neat. Let me just uh, fill this back in. Save. 
didn't have to do that. Also, while we're at it, you can now also see our launcher settings and where it's installed and stuff like that. Version your installation folder. And we also have another new feature, which is browse PAL versions. You can now search for older versions and actually install them and use them. So if you click search, it's going to look for all the versions it knows, which goes from 17 down to 1. Then you can click download, and it will actually download that version, and it will allow you to launch that version as well, which is really neat. We also have a little manual update here. You have another check for updates button, which is going to check for updates and then download. There you go. Okay, so when you have a new installation, you will not instantly be greeted with this window. You will get a little small window that says you have no settings, click import or click continue. Just click continue on that. But as you know, I had to import my settings to make it work in the first place. Anyhow, as usual, here's all the add-ons. Here's all the filters. They currently don't work, so I have to fix those. But I recommend you go into the settings here and you just fill in all of these things. And make sure you have auto hotkey installed. A lot of add-ons use that. Anyhow, just click launch bot of Excel and you'll be off to the races. I think you also have to select your preferred ver version. Yeah, this one. Make sure you set that. And that's about it. Actually, let me show you one more thing. If you ever have to like debug even more when I tell you to. Just go to your app data here. If you don't know how to get there, just use the following command in a run window. Percent local app data percent slash pal slash. It will open this folder. You go into core, you open a command window over here again. And then we use the same command java jar b17.jar. And then you run it. Note that the program will also just run. Yeah, it will run. Always, always happy when stuff runs when you uh, ask it to. But yeah, you don't actually have to use the launcher. Like a lot of people do not, like apparently I do not have, I haven't told people this correctly, but the launcher is just there for updating. The program will just run if you just run this file. Like there is no uh, real magic, just if you run this it also works. And I think that is everything I wanted to say about this new version. So... Have fun in the Neo 3.5 leak, and hopefully my add-on helps you save those precious few seconds. I'll see you guys later.